Hi guys. In this video, we're gonna we're gonna be handling indexing in Access. And uh, first of all, what is was it? What is an index? Well, let's say I want to index that field variant. What happens is when you create an when you create an when you when Access creates an index, it creates a in the background something you don't see. It creates a a, a sort of an index a list in the background that uh, lists the position of every element in that field. So we, it would say like, okay, this this word ambient is like in 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 row zero, uh, row one, and row two. Trend would be in row three and four, etc. Titanium in 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 rows what I know five and six and so on. So it's basically similar to an index that you see in a in a book at the back of the book, where it says like, let's say if I've got a recipes book, I'd have like apple recipes at the back at, at pages 12 102 561 the salads are at pages 2 3 17 and so on what that makes it makes it gives access a faster way to 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 search for a certain um data in that field because what access does once you once you create an index access uh, 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 saves the position of each of those terms in that field and it thus makes it much easier for it to find those terms rather than going through the field from top to bottom and scanning for those words. It's similar in the book. When, when, you, when you search here uh, uh, through the index, you don't have to read through the whole book to find salads. You immediately go to 2, to 3, to 17, to page 26, and so on. So this index in Access works the same way. So the, the thing about indexes is that every time you create an index for a field, Access logs the positions of the terms in that field in a certain background, uh, uh, if you wish, file where all those positions are saved and which access uses them for quickly finding something and for quickly sorting that field. Now, the thing is, when you want to index a field, well, it better be a field that you search, it better be a field which you use uh, uh, or let's say it's better be a field whose terms you use often for searching and sorting and the field better have many different terms in it so basically if I take the manufacturer it's, ba it's a bad field because there are not a lot of manufacturers in this in this database alone we just have two so that is not a good field to index you see so basically type okay Variant even better because you've got many variants and maybe it's a sort of a field that you uh, use often for search and sorting. And uh, the question comes up: Why don't you index every field? Well, indexing every field would make the database uh, really fat. It would consume way more uh, space than necessary because obviously each index needs space to to, to reside in. And second of all, having too many indices would render the database slow because each index would have to be updated once you update the database with new data or if you delete old data. So uh, that would make the database response slower because it has to update and, and take into account all these indices. So basically, as a general rule, the fields you index are basically fields used often for search and for sorting and they better be fields that uh, have a lot of different data in them okay where where you don't have like like only two types of data or or, or, or three but many different types of data now how do I create an index in, in in access well it's very simple you go into the design view and then you pick a field let's say variant click in it and then down here you have index right now we have no and then if you go into drop down you would have yes with duplicates or no duplicates. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go back to our field. Let's go to, to the to the view uh, data view, and if you see, like the field variant has like ambient twice, trend more than once. So here, if I wish to index that field, I would have to allow duplicates because having no duplicates means that each term only uh, occurs once in that field, and this is not the case here. So basically going back to the design view, clicking in variant, if I wish to index that field, I would have to say yes, 
but I would have to allow duplicates because there are duplicates in that field. So that, that's how you create an index for one field. You can also create an index for multiple fields. Let's say if I wish to have an index for these three fields together, one index for these three fields, how do I do that? Well, you go here, indices, and you would have, there's our first index that we just created. And now I can create a second index for those three fields. Now, I, I could use uh, one of the field names as, as name for that index, or I can just create any name. Let's say I, say I, just, I can call it ABC, that index, and pick the first field in that index would be start price. And I can here uh, uh, fix the sorting of that index. So uh, let's say I do that descending. The second field in that index would be doors. And I'll leave that as ascending. And the third in, uh, field in that index would be min power. Okay. So now I have two indices in the, or two indexes in that, in that database. The first one is variant and it just applies to the field variant. And the second one is called ABC and that applies to those three fields. Okay. And that's it. So now I have multiple indices in that table, one applying to one field and one applying to those three fields. Right. Now we come to a recommendation I recommend you to do in every table you create in Access, and that is basically to have a field in each table you create, a field with which you can make each uh, row unique. So basically, let's go back here in our uh, data view. Let's just save it. Yep. The problem with this table is that there's not one field with which I can um, have a unique feature for each row. For instance, uh, the manufacturer doesn't apply obviously because it occurs more than once in each, uh, in, uh, in each uh, row. Same thing with a type, same thing with a variant, same thing with the start price. A lot of vehicles can have uh, identical start prices. Same thing with the doors or the minimum power. So what I need is a field in which I can make each row unique, sort of a, like a customer number. A customer number makes each customer unique, regardless of their name, of their surname, of their age, etc. Same thing with an article number. So what I need here is some sort of a car code, if you wish, which renders each car unique, regardless of its other features. And the way you do that, you go back to design, and I would like to have that field as a, a, as a first field. So I just select manufacturer and insert a row. So here I have a new row at the top and I just call that car code. And we can use a feature in, in, in Access, which is basically the uh, auto number. Auto number is basically a field type that automatically updates each time you insert a new record. So you don't have to worry about that number anymore Access does the work for you. Auto number. And if you see, if you go back to view, save, you see now you have automatically a, no, a unique number for each manufacturer. Uh, sorry, for each row. See, and if I add a new row, I automatically get 73 and then 74 and so on. All right. So my recommendation is that first of all, you have a field in which each record is unique and that's in our case car code and then what you do you index that field you index that field to no duplicates now such such an index would be your main index or your main key in that table and that would be basically your primary key if you wish all right so basically what you would do let's let's take it back to no you create that field the order number and then you just click on primary key and what that does watch this area here once i press primary key it creates a unique index which does not allow any duplicates 
So this way, you have a field here which makes each record unique, regardless of the content in the other fields. And if you go back to indexes here, you would see we have our two old indexes we created manually, but we have here our primary key. So this is our primary index. This is our primary index. And these guys are our secondary index indices or indexes. Okay. And now that's how it would, uh, that's how, 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 how uh, real world access work, uh, how real world database work is. You create for each table a primary key and the primary key is basically a field which guarantees the uniqueness of each record in that table and that field gets a primary key meaning that field is the main index of that table a main index which does not allow any duplicates okay and then the other indices are basically secondary in the, in the, in the indexes with which which aid you in the search and sorting of that data and basically the secondary indices are basically indices or, or fields uh, uh, which get searched or, ser or sorted by a lot okay and how do i delete something uh, of these uh, of, uh, how do i delete an index well it's easy let's say if i want to reduce abc just to start plus and and doors i don't need the minimum power just click it and just go and delete and i got it and if i don't need the variant i just click it here and just delete and so i've now reduced my indices to those to those two i just got abc that's my secondary index and primary key is my primary index okay so again primary key is very important for our future work when we deal with relationships we need primary key so again my recommendation because that's very important for for all your future tables is basically in each table let me just go to view save uh, to, da uh, to data view for each table that you create an access basically create a field which has some sort of uh, data in it which guarantees the uniqueness of each record and give that field a primary key and then if you wish you can uh, add further indices to that table if, 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 if you require but basically that primary key is the most important field of that table.